This is lesson three of Google Drive on the iPad. In this lesson, we will navigate through some of the menu options so you can become more familiar with using the Google Drive app. On the screen, you will see three icons at the top of the page. One to the left and two to the right, with My Drive between these icons. There is a search bar under these icons. Next to the search bar, there is a button to sort. Under the search bar, you will see all the files and folders that you currently have. So we're going to tap the icon in the top left hand corner. This will bring up a menu. And this menu will be very familiar to you if you are used to using the drive on a computer. You'll see My Drive, Incoming, Recent, Starred and On Device. The only difference will be the On Device. On a computer, this is replaced with Bin. My Drive will show you all the files and folders that you currently have access to. Incoming will show you all the files that have been shared with you. Recent will show you the most recent files that have changed. Starred will show you any item in your drive that you have flagged. And on device will show any files that you have saved on your iPad. There are two other icons at the top of the screen on the right hand side. There's a plus sign, which we will look at in the next lesson. The other icon will switch the items on your drive from list to icon or icon to list. The search bar will allow you to search for any item in your Google Drive. So, for example, if I was to type in notes, done, that will find all the files and folders that have the word notes in them. This also includes the content of the documents. To the right of the search bar, there is a sort button. If you click the sort button, there are several different ways you can sort. They can be sorted when you last edited them, uh, when you modified them, or when you last opened them. Or, as currently, by default, it is by title. The remainder of the screen will show you the folders and files in your drive. To open the folder, tap the relevant folder, and you will see the contents of what's in that folder. This concludes lesson three. In lesson four, we will be looking at how we can add documents to your Google Drive from the Google Drive app.